Oh, well, why don't we Let's have a look now. Let's have a look. Now. Right, go on, Chris. Right, so Chris, back, back, back behind the wheel, but this time driving on the map. So we, so. Uh, so tell you what, should we, should we go back and show just where we've driven on the map? Um, yeah, so, so we can see the scramble there that we've just yeah. done, right? That's, so, so that was Mulahay, yeah. that's a scramble. There's the, uh, the El, El Arco uh, in Cabo, uh, and then going up, we've got the, the sand dunes, and then a bit of that gypsum desert, and there's the, there's the Baja circuit. Um, that's when we peeped out earlier from over the hill, right? So yeah. people can now get a good look at that and start to work out how they're going to yeah. build their own routes through yeah. there using mm -hmm. uh, Event Lab. And then if you go right, you can just see how massive that volcano is. It's a um, big volcano. <laughs> so on the right there, that massive stretch of road is the uh, asphalt switchbacks we okay. showed last time. And the other massive switchback is the dirt one as well. So you can go up either of those ways or cross country and there's probably about 100 different ways you can jump off of it as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> perfect. Um, uh, and then here we are in uh, Guanajuato. Um, that's that amazing city which has also got the um, canal, the tunnel, yeah, yeah tunnel. Mm -hmm. well, I was stuck on tunnel. The tunnel <laughs> system underneath so you can dr drive through there um, and then come out of this beautiful city. Um, and then just north of here, um, there is... Uh, it's the canyon. It's the canyon. It's we were canyon. just talking about this with the train. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, I don't think you can make out the train track on the on the map there. But the train basically runs full length of the canyon. Yeah. It? Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. There's another awesome yeah. drift road there as yeah. well. It takes you down into the canyon. The canyon is, I think it's two thirds of the length of the map as well. So wow. Okay. Yeah. Massive. It's a great road. It's fairly significant yeah. then, huh? Um, now we're looking at the um, tropical coast on the east of the map, and down there is the town of uh, Playa Azul. Uh, this is what we showed with the, the beautiful mural art by um, Farid Raider. Mm -hmm. um, so that there's, there's actually two of his murals in that town for the for the mural hunters. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that, <laughs> um, yeah, so we will get a closer look at this at this yeah. biome in, in, a, in a future stream. Yeah. But whereas the rocky coast we saw earlier is really dusty yeah. and dry and rocky, this is super lush yeah. and green and tropical. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's worth saying as well. We are gonna. Let's put up a high resolution one of these um, if we haven't already. Um, so don't worry about stitching this thing together. We'll um, we'll give you we'll give you the proper one. Yeah, so check you can out. All zoom in yourselves. Check and it out. Figure it out. Yeah, it'll be on our Twitter and Insta within the next few minutes. I'm reliably insured. So, yeah. Uh, Perfect. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So no no need to be screen capping this. There will be one out that yeah. you can just uh, digest at your heart's content. Yeah. <laughs> So are there any other like particular features you want to call out or any favourite areas? Yeah. If you head slightly north, Chris, um, I think it's worth calling out the stadium. Yeah. Um, so we showed this Very during good. our E3 presentation. It's where we had that uh, event lab creation with all the bowling pins and the jumps and stuff. Uh, it's a really big open space. It's the perfect place to get in there and build with yeah. using our amazing UGC tools. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know you've mentioned previously, but the map's bigger than Fort Horizon 4. Like, to what scale or how, like, how, how does that actually translate? It's 50% uh, bigger. Okay. So one and a half times the size of Fort Horizon 4. Yep. Gorgeous. Yeah. And this is the highway you've mentioned as well, right? Yes. The you, longest one so that. far? Yeah, we go for a more, more or less the uh, bottom corner up to the top corner, uh, the longest we've had yeah. in any of the Horizon titles. And, uh, and yes, there is a danger sign at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Just absolutely yeet yourself yeah. off the end of it. Love of it. Yeah, straight out. <laughs> Um, so your um, favourite is the stadium, or uh, did you have another favourite, Mike? Uh, my favourite area actually is, is the main festival, which is just is where there, Chris yeah. is uh, okay. highlighting right now. You can actually see that it's uh, built around an old abandoned racetrack, so there's a, a really awesome uh, race circuit through there, which I think, well, I think it will become the natural test track for people when they're, yes. when they're building out their, their tunes, and I think we'll probably use it to test out some vehicles in a, in a future stream. It's also got that uh, runway running right the way through it, uh, which acts as a drag strip. Uh, and in the in, in the centre of the festival, that main bit there, where you can you can just see that runway intersecting. Mm -hmm. uh, this is amazing artwork that's painted down onto the floor as well. It's like a really beautiful area to go and explore. Gorgeous. By you, Connor, where's your favourite? Um, oh, I've got so many, obviously. Well, go um, more then, obviously. <laughs> let's, let's talk about the whole map. Um, yeah, Chris, if you if, tell you what, let's look at the jungle. So what we showed off. Yeah, tell you what, I've just been reliably informed that the image is now on Twitter. It is. Okay. So if you want to go find these areas at the yeah. same time we're talking, that could be a fun little like <laughs> a bit to do. Anyway, you were saying. <laughs> I'll try to think of a really <laughs> clever word, and it escaped me, so I just said um, bit. <laughs> Uh, so, so yeah, I think the jungle is one of my favourite areas. Um, and in the middle of the jungle is actually this, like a vast water network of, of waterfalls. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the heart of that is this great big waterfall called Agua Azul, um, which I haven't stopped going on about, as Mike uh, assured me uh, since the beginning of the project, because um, <laughs> it's, it's just such it, um, it, it's, it's so stunning. It's um, mm -hmm. it's amazing. It's amazing work of art by our team who've been working, you know, tirelessly to get over this technical challenge. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but it's 
it's amazing because you can jump off of it, you can drive around it. It looks good at all times. Is this the one that we saw in the trailer? It is the same one, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, there it is on the map there. Um, you can see just how big that thing is. Yeah. Um, so it, it covers most of the jungle. Um, yeah, he's, he's not joking either. We started, he started talking about about three minutes after we chose Mexico <laughs> as the location. Like, there's this We've waterfall. Got to do it. It's called the Aguas or Waterfall. Before we talk about <laughs> cars or anything else, there's this waterfall that has to be yeah. in here. It's, all right, mate. it's great. It's great. It's a great waterfall. Um, but yeah, the, the, I mean, we have. I mean, people have already spotted all the temple sites, I guess. Um, but we've got Teotihuacan there, um, Tulum on the on the east coast. Um, mm -hmm. We've got the uh, Ekbalam. Uh, there's the giants of Tula, and there's uh, there's Ushmal as well. So, yeah, I think temple sites. Are, I mean, they're inherently cool, so yeah, they, yeah. they probably are my favourite. Love areas. seeing those the yeah. other week. That was brilliant. Yeah. Well, lovely. I think that's everything of the map that we're going to go through today, and that's everything we have time for today. So, um. Thank